everyone this is teacher Ada of teacher Ada's learning center and today we're gonna have the sequel of the Christmas story entitled the Magi or the three wise men and the killing of the innocent two-year-old boys the story can be found in Matthew chapter 2 Verses 1 to 23. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, the Magi or the wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi, or the wise men, secretly, and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, refer to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother and Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another road. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi or the wise men, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. Herod died, 
An angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, Jesus will be called a Nazareth. And so this closed the Christmas story. Now we are just celebrating the birth of Jesus, the visit of three wise men, and the killing of the innocent to your earth. Let's end our Christmas story. And now this has been the presentation of our Christmas story. Nativity of Jesus and the visit of the three magics. And now, parents, children, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. This is Teacher Ada saying goodbye to the next issue of our Teacher Ada's Learning Center. Say goodbye.